application of dot product. So in this series of communication questions, I have taken some very good examples and I am sure the students who will go through it properly will score excellent marks. The whole idea is for my students to get great marks and feel good about understanding a subject so important as vectors. Now, question C5 is prove that an angle in a semicircle is a right angle. So what we have here is a semicircle and we just took a point A in general, any part of the circle and that's the diameter BC going through origin O and we are assuming at present that this is the origin of our space. Now in this they form this is the radius, right? So the magnitudes are equal. So basically what we have here is that the magnitude of A is equals to magnitude of B which is equals to magnitude of C. This is one thing. Magnitude. Also you will notice that O is my origin and so OA is the vector A, OB is vector B and OC is vector C. Now as you can see vector C and B are equal and opposite, right? So we can write vector C as minus of vector B, right? So I'm telling you these things because I'm soon going to use them all. Now, we need to prove that an angle in a semicircle is right angle. So the angle formed here in the semicircle is angle A. Now if I prove that BA dot CA is zero, that means angle A is right angle. So what I basically need to prove here is that BA dot CA equals to zero. This is what I'm required to prove, right? So this is what I'm required to do, right? In short, if I do that, that means that this angle is 90 degree, right? So in a semicircle, we'll always make a right angle since A is a general point, right? Now, let's start with BA dot CA. So what is BA dot CA in this triangle? Right? Let's start from BA dot CA. What is it? Now what is BA? So BA will be vector A minus B, right? So we have this as vector A minus B. A minus B dot. Now what is CA? CA will be vector A minus vector C, right? Vector A minus vector C. So that is BA dot CA, correct? Now let's do the vector product and we said A dot A will be magnitude of A square, right? And A dot C with minus sign will get A dot C, right? And now let's go with B. So it's minus B dot A and minus, minus becomes plus B dot C. So that is what we get. And now let's see what are, what is, can we use this? C is equals to minus of B. So instead of C, I can write minus B, right? So in that case, if I write minus B, then this becomes magnitude of A square and I'm replacing C with minus B, right? So this becomes plus vector A dot vector B. And here I will apply commutative property. So I get vector A dot vector B minus of that. And C and B are negative, right? So I can use now C as minus B. So if I use C as minus B, that becomes minus, and I got B dot B. Got it? So that is using this property. So I used it two times in the same equation. So I'm using this equation here. So let me call this as equation two, and this is equation one for the time being. So I applied equation two, right? This is using equation two, right? Equation two for us is vector c is equals to minus of vector b. So that is what I have utilized at here and also in this position, right? Rather here. Correct. Now as we move on, what do we get? We get a square 
and plus a dot b minus a dot b is 0 and this is magnitude of b square right so we get a square minus magnitude of b square now magnitude of a and b are same since they are the radius of the circle right since we know from equation 1 that magnitude of a equals to magnitude of b right therefore we can conclude from here that this is equal to 0 right so in a way, we proved that BA dot CA is zero. And we know if the dot products are zero for two non-zero vectors, right? So now we can conclude since BA and vector CA are non-zero vectors, right? They are non-zero vectors. And there dot product is 0. That implies that BA is perpendicular to CA, right? And that shows that in a semicircle the angle formed is always 90 degrees. Do you see that? That is it what it shows. So we proved that angle in a semicircle is always a right angle, right? So go through this proof, try to understand it. Very simple steps. And so many times I've seen this problem in the test. And I hope you get it and you get it right. Thank you and all the best.